The admin or administrator user inside of Crosstracks has the ability to access all of the features and capability inside of the system. You as the account holder are the ultimate administrator. You have access to everything. There's not anything in the system that you cannot do. So you can designate other people inside of your company as administrators, but that doesn't mean that they have unlimited capability. You can still control an admin user's roles and access. And we're gonna go through a couple of those things here in this brief training video. To get to the administration users, click on admin users on the left-hand menu bar. And here you have a list of your admin users. You can search using the criteria here at the top. You can also add administrative users. And here you have your list of admin users, their name, email address. If you track your administrative users while they're on investigative cases, if they even work cases, you can utilize this icon here. This shows whether or not the user is active in the system. Over here to the right, you have a log in this icon, which shows you any changes that have been made to this particular user's profile. The next icon is an envelope, and those are the email subscriptions. You click on that. If you want this administrator to receive case-related or system-related emails, they can select or you can select whether or not these are on or off. If the item is checked, that means that they're gonna receive this email on when a case is placed on hold, they're gonna get that email. If an assignment is updated, they're gonna receive that email. So you can configure these based on the workflow of your organization. I'm gonna go back to the case list. On the right-hand side, this dollar sign icon, if this administrator conducts investigations, you can set the rates for paying that particular user. For more information on rates, there is a separate video on managing administrator rates, and you can go through and watch that to learn more information on how to accomplish that task. One more thing to point out here on the users list is this switch account as in, to an investigator. If you have an admin user that becomes an investigator or vice versa, you can switch this account to create this change, essentially this administrative user, and make them an investigator user. So that's a handy tool to have. Creating an admin user, we're gonna click on admin. I'm just gonna take you through the basic steps. There are four fields that are required to be filled out to create an admin user. That's the first name, last name, email address, and the role. And we'll look at the role here in a second, but those are the only four that you have to fill out uh, to get started with an admin user. If you want to email the user their login credentials, you can check this box and the system will automatically send this user their username and password to access the system once you click submit. You can turn on two-factor authentication for the user here. You can also add their insurance, licenses, any other resumes, documents, anything that that particular personnel file may contain in all the particulars as far as where they're located, what time zone, whether or not they're active. You can turn that on or off here. And then some of these other items in here are covered in the advanced training video for admin users. This is the role that we discussed earlier where you can limit an administrator's access if you want to. And we're gonna jump over there now. I'm gonna go to settings, and then we're gonna click on roles and access under the users and security features. On the left-hand side, there's the administrator role manage access. So it's this middle icon here, you click on that, That'll bring you to your roles and access page. As you can see, all of the system features are available here. And as an example, if you do not want this particular admin to be able to view or access the system login report, you can change that. You can do that for all of these settings inside of the system. So as I mentioned, the users, even though they are administrators, you can still control 
exactly what they're able to do inside of your platform. So just to summarize, here you have admin users on the left-hand side. These are users that have additional access and can be full featured access users if you'd like. You can add administrative users by clicking this button. You can also add them by clicking up here at the top, this quick access bar if you're in another area of the system and you need to add an administrative user real quick. You can access the user's profile by clicking on their name. You can track them if they're in the field using this icon. You can switch an uh, administrator to an investigator by clicking this uh, recycle icon here. This column lets you know whether or not this particular user is active. The log icon here to the left shows you what changes have been made to a profile. A admin user can determine which emails they want to subscribe to by clicking on the envelope. And over here, you can set the rates for an investigator if they do investigations, and you can determine what rates you bill those investigators out at.